Jared Port Portra. <laughs>today i'm here with another book haul book outlet had a sale and i live fairly close to the warehouse so me and my mom decided to take a little trip down there and i picked up a couple of books i thought i'd share with you guys so without further ado let us get started the first book i got because of the author she wrote one of my favorite books the female of the species and it is a madness so discreet by mindy mcginnis honestly I don't really know anything about this book other than Mindy McGinnis wrote it. I believe that it's like a horror thriller kind of thing, so I love horror thriller books, so I'm here for it. Also, the cover is super creepy, like there's a hand dragging her down through the floor, and I'm here for it. Really excited to see what it's all about because I loved her other books, so I want to see what other books she's got out there. The next book I picked up because I recognized the title, but it is Sublime by Christina Lauren. Christina Lauren has so many books out. Have I read any of them? No, but I recognized the author, recognized the title, have seen it floating around. I know it's like a ghost book, so paranormal. We like paranormal, so we picked it up. The next book I have was super popular in like 2014 or something like that, like a long, long time ago, but it is The Taking by Kimberly Durting. When I first read the synopsis when it first came out, I thought it was, sounded really cool. It's about this girl who wakes up and discovers that five years of her life has gone by without her knowing. Everything in her life is different now and it's her trying to like cope with it, but I'm just here for it. I think it sounds real cool. The next book I bought because I know the author, I've heard of the series, everybody seems to like it. It's the second book in the series, but it was only like four dollars, so I was like... We're gonna pick it up and hope that we find the first book sometime in the near future, but it is The Rose Society and this is the second book in the Young Elite series by Mary Lou. I've never read a Mary Lou book. I own plenty of them, so hopefully this will be the push. But I mean I need the first book before I can read this one, but maybe it'll push me to read one of the other ones that I have by her. The next book I bought because of the title as well as the author when it first came out it was super popular, but it is The Rest of Us Live Here by Patrick Ness. I believe that it's about a boy named Mikey who lives among like all the chosen ones of stories and he's like super ordinary and it's like that kind of thing. I'm intrigued. I've heard it's pretty good, so. The next book I bought because I have the first two books of the series and this is like the novella and it was like a dollar, so I was like, okay. But it is The Cruel Crown by Victoria Avior. This is like the two novellas before The Red Queen. So, I mean, I own the first two books. Have I read them? No. Am I gonna read this? Someday, hopefully. The next book is a sequel to a book I read back in like 2016-2017, but it is a Rebel by Amy Tintera, and this is the sequel to Reboot, which is about this girl who was dead for 178 hours, but then she comes back to life and she's like this kick-ass female character and she's great. I think I ended up giving that book a 3.5 and I said that if I found the sequel I'd read it, but I wasn't going to go out of my way to find it, but I found it, so here we are. The next book, Emma Books would be so proud of me, it is Lady Midnight by Cassandra Clare. Have I finished the Mortal Instruments series? No, I have not, but this book was $4, so we bought it. One day, I'll complete the series. When that will be, we don't know, but it'll happen. Maybe when I'm like 90, it's fine. The next book, I am so freaking excited about because I read the first book and I loved it so much and this is the sequel but it is The Empress by S.J. Kincaid and this is the sequel to The Diabolic which was one of my favorite books of 2018. We here for it, we're excited that we now own it and we're gonna read it very soon because I need to know what happens next. The next book I bought because I recognize the title and a lot of people seem to love it, it's been compared to like the Black Swan, the movie about those ballerinas. You know what I'm talking about? It is Tiny Pretty Things by Sona Cheraporta and Daniel Clayton, and I just think that it sounded good. It's like backstabbing ballerinas, and we're here for it. And then the final book I bought because of the author. He's super popular. It's Jason Reynolds' When I Was the Greatest. Don't really know what it's about other than Jason Reynolds wrote it, so here we are. We going strong with this book haul. Hey guys, so that was my 
haul for this video. Let me know down below if you guys have read any of these books and what you thought of them. And I'll see you all in my next video. Goodbye!